India's government has asked the country's states to keep a sharp lookout for any new variants of the coronavirus and urged people to wear masks in crowded areas. Striking ambulance workers in England and Wales man picket lines, escalating a pay dispute between the government and a host of public sector staff. Iran's Supreme Court orders retrial for a young Iranian sentenced to death for his part in protests over the death of Masa Amini. President Putin inaugurates natural gas field in eastern Siberia that will allow Russia to increase its exports to China amid soaring tensions between Moscow and the West. Elon Musk says he will quit as Twitter CEO once successor is found. Responding to a poll that called for his ouster, Musk tweets, I will resign as CEO as soon as I find someone foolish enough to take the job. Nepal's top court orders the release of Charles Sobrage, the French serial killer who was responsible for a string of murders across Asia in the 1970s. Sprawling bomb storm over the U.S. Midwest threatens triple whammy of heavy snow, strong winds and plummeting temperatures. Winter weather alerts sounded. Tennis legend Boris Becker breaks his silence on release from a U.K. prison last week. The six-time Grand Slam winner says in jail you are a nobody and just a number. King Mohammed VI of Morocco led the celebrations as the Atlas Lions returned home following their historic campaign in Qatar. The players and coach Walid Regragui were conferred with the Order of the Throne decorations to mark their achievement of being the first African side to reach the World Cup semi-finals. The NBA Phoenix Suns franchise are set to be sold for $4 billion. Mortgage executive Matt Ishiba is set to buy the Suns as well as WNBA side Phoenix Mercury from the embattled owner Robert Sarver. This is the most expensive deal in NBA history. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.